name is Beth. And today, we're going to go on an exciting adventure, a learning adventure, to discover all about colors and shapes. We're going to play some games and sing some songs and have lots of fun. So if you're ready to learn, come on along. I'd like to begin our learning adventure by introducing you to colors. The first color is red. Oh. This is the color blue. This is the color yellow. This is the color orange. This is the color purple. This is the color brown. This is the color pink. This is the color black. And this is the color white. Balloons, balloons, get your colorful balloons here. Uh, I'd like one balloon, please. Oh, well, certainly. What color would you like? Uh, well, what colors do you have? Oh, I'm glad you asked. I've got red. Oh, I love red. And I've got blue and yellow. Hmm, uh, those are nice, too. Uh, what else do you have? Oh, well, I've got green, orange, and purple. Green, orange, and purple? Uh, that's terrific. Uh, oh, what other colors do you have? Well, I've got brown, pink, black and white oh there, there are just so many colors I, I don't know which one to choose well then why don't you take the whole bunch gee thanks <laughs> you're welcome no matter where you go no matter what you see everything has a color that's just how things are it doesn't matter if we look up or down or left or right. Everywhere we look, we see color. Here's a song to tell us more about the colors in our world. Now let's join Colors the Cloud on a colorful trip around the world. Is the color of an apple. Red is the color of a rose. My wagon is bright red, so's the hair upon my head. And the fire engine is fire engine red. Blue! Blue is the color of my trousers. And blue is the color of this ball. Blue is the sky, and so is this tie. And blue are the berries in a blueberry pie. Yellow, yellow is the color of bananas. Yellow is the color of this cup. Corn is yellow too, and daffodils when they bloom. And yellow is the color of my beautiful balloon. Green! Green is the color of a clover. Green is the color of grass. Green's the color of the leaves that grow upon the trees. And green is the color of spinach, peas, and beans. Orange! Orange is the color of a pumpkin. This flag is orange, too. Here's an orange basketball. Leaves turn orange in the fall. And an orange is orange after all. Purple! Purple is the color of my pinwheel. Purple is the color of a plum. There are purple pitted brooms. My scarf is purple too. And purple is the color of my kazoo. Brown is the color of my lunch bag. Brown is the color of this box. My chocolate bar is brown, so's this teddy bear I found. And chestnuts neath this tree are all colored brown. Pink! 
Pink is the color of carnations. Pink is the color of my tongue. This bow is pink, it's true. Pink lemonade is too. And pink is the color of pink grapefruit. Black, black is the color of this top hat. Black is the color of a skunk P.U. A licorice stick is black, so's the spider on my back. Ugh. And black is the train that rides along the track. White, white is the color of this bunny. White is the color of my gloves. Clouds are puffy white, so's the string that holds my kite. And white are my teeth when I brush them shiny bright. Now those are some pretty nifty colors. But there are many more to see. So just open up your eyes and you'll be quite surprised at all the wonderful colors you will see. Say, I've just taken my crayons and colored some pictures. Now I'd like you to look at the pictures and play a game. Here is a picture of three pencils. I colored one of the pencils green. I'd like you to find the green pencil. Do you see it? Here it is, the green pencil. Look at the picture of these three carrots. One of the carrots is colored orange. Can you find the orange carrot? Here it is, the orange carrot. Here is a picture of three chairs. I colored one of the chairs blue. Can you find the blue chair? Look at the picture of these two chickens. One of the chickens is colored yellow. Can you find the yellow chicken? Here it is, the yellow chicken. Here is a picture of three fish. I colored one of the fish green. Can you find the green fish? Here it is, the green fish. Look at the pictures of these six flowers. One of the flowers is colored red. Can you find the red flower? The red flower. Here is a picture of five presents. I colored one of the presents yellow. Can you find the yellow present? Here it is, the yellow present. Look at the picture of these two dogs. One of the dogs is colored brown. Can you find the brown dog? Here it is, the brown dog. Here is a picture of three guitars. I colored one of the guitars green. Can you find the green guitar? Here it is, the green guitar. Look at the picture of four airplanes. One of the airplanes is colored purple. Can you find the purple airplane? 
Here it is, the purple airplane. Here is a picture of three trucks. I colored one of the trucks red. Can you find the red truck? Here it is, the red truck. Look at the picture of these four umbrellas. One of the umbrellas is colored pink. Can you find the pink umbrella? Here it is, the pink umbrella. And now for great feats of prestidigitation. Uh, magic, that is. Did you know that there are three very magical colors? They are red, yellow, and blue. We call them primary colors. And they're magical because when you mix them all together, you can make even more colors. Let me show you my first trick. First, we take this empty can. And we take the beautiful color yellow and the beautiful color blue. We place them into the can and mix them all up and watch. Ta-da! Yellow and blue mixed together make green. And now for my next trick, we'll take the same empty can and now we'll use the beautiful color of red and the gorgeous color of blue. We'll put them together in the can, mix them up, and ta-da! Red and blue mixed together make purple. And now, for my final feat of magic, I'm going to take the empty can. And now, we're going to take the beautiful colors of red and yellow, place them into the can. And now, mixing them together, ta-da! Yellow mixed together make orange. That was terrific. Well, thank you. But I have one question. What's that? Well, if red, yellow, and blue are primary colors, uh -huh. then what are purple, orange, and green? Oh, that's easy. Shapes, purple, orange, and green are secondary colors. Wow. That was terrific. Well, thank you. Thank you. I know. <laughs> Now that we've learned the names of the colors, I'd like to introduce you to shapes. This is a circle, as you see it is round. If you stretch it, it makes an oval I found. And this is a square, and if you ask why, it measures the same on all four sides. Shapes, shapes all over the place. Shapes are everywhere, taking up space. Shapes. Shapes go every which way. Shapes, shapes all over the place. This is a rectangle, a box of sorts. Two sides are long and two sides are short. And this is a diamond. Do you know why? It stands on its point and has four sides. Shapes, shapes all over the place. Shapes are everywhere, taking up space. Shapes, shapes, go every which way. Shapes, shapes, all over the place. This is a triangle, it has three sides. The sides can be different or all the same size. And this is an octagon, isn't it great? If you count the sides, you'll see there are eight. All over the place Shapes are everywhere Taking up space Shapes, shapes Go every which way Shapes, shapes All over the place Shapes, shapes Do 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 Shapes, shapes Do 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 Ah! <whistles> when you look around You'll notice that everything you see has a shape Shapes are everywhere Let's play a little game I'll show you a picture, and you find the shape that we're looking for. In this picture, can you find a square? Here it is, a square. That was fun. 
Now, here's another picture. Okay, can you find the circle? You've got it, a circle. Now I know there's a triangle in this picture. Do you see it? There it is, a triangle. Now, there's a diamond in this picture. Can you see it? Terrific! You got it! There's an oval here somewhere. Can you see it? There it is! You found it! Here's a friend of mine who's going to take you to the circus to find some shapes. <laughs> I just love to juggle. And shapes are a very important part of my juggling act. Other circus performers use shapes too. So let's play a game. I'll show you some exciting circus acts that I want you to see if you can find the shape in each picture. Ready? Here we go. Here's a picture of the circus seals. They're terrific. A triangle is a very important part of their routine. Can you find the triangle in this picture? Remember, a triangle has three sides. There it is, a triangle. Here's Nellie the Balancing Elephant. She uses a large circle in her act. Can you find the large circle? Remember, a circle is round. There it is, a circle. All right, you're doing great. Here's a picture of the acrobatic cat. Can you find the diamond? Remember, a diamond stands on its point. There it is, a diamond. Here's a wonderful picture of Charlie the Chimp. He uses all kinds of shapes. But can you find the rectangle he's using in the picture? Remember, a rectangle has four sides. Two sides are short, the other two sides are long. There it is, a rectangle. And now, focus your attention on Harriet the Hippo as she dives into a pool of sparkling water. Can you find the oval in the picture? An oval is a stretched out circle. There it is, an oval. Now, one of my favorite acts. Sparky, the death-defying Dalmatian. He uses all kinds of shapes in his act, too. Can you find the square in the picture? Remember, a square has four sides, and they're all the same size. There it is, a square. And finally, here is Rudy the High Wire Rhino. An octagon is really the highlight of her act. Can you find the octagon in the picture? Remember, an octagon has eight sides. So, next time you take a walk or go for a ride, look around and try to name all the shapes you see. It's lots of fun. You know what's really neat is that everything has a color and a shape. They kind of go together. And by using different colors and shapes, there are all kinds of things we can make. With colors and shapes, look what you can do. When you put them together, you can make something new. Choose a few colors, pick a few shapes. Put them together, see what you can make. Take a rectangle, color it red, and do black circles, and what do you get? 
Let's take it for a ride and see how it feels. With colors and shapes, look what you can do. When you put them together, you can make something new. Choose a few colors, pick a few shapes. Put them together, see what you can make. Take some brown rectangles and circles of green. Take a yellow diamond and add some white string. shapes put them together see what you can make take a white rectangle and stand it on end at three triangles and color them red count three two one and watch it fly it's a rocket ship taking off to the sky with colors and shapes look what you can do when you put them together you can make something new choose a few colors pick a few shapes Wow! You've certainly learned a lot about colors and shapes. You know that everything in the world has a color and a shape. You also know the names of the colors and shapes and what they look like. You've seen how people use colors and shapes to make all kinds of things. I'd like to thank you for coming on this learning adventure to discover all about colors and shapes. I had lots of fun. So let's do it again real soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>